Welcome to I Lecture Online. With this video, we're starting a series on parametric equations. The, answer, the question would be, what is a parametric equation? And the best answer that I can come up with is that a parametric equation is indeed an equation that expresses each variable of a particular equation in terms of another variable. Hmm, what does that really mean? Well, let's say here we have an equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared. x and y are variables in this particular equation. r is a constant. By now, most of us will realize that this is an equation of a circle with radius r, where the center is at the origin, the xy origin. Now, what we can do is we can express each of the variables, as we show right here, each of the variables, in terms of another variable. For example, x can be expressed as r times the cosine of t, t being that other variable, and y can also be expressed in terms of the variable t, as written as r times the sine of t. With a little bit of trigonometry, and if we assume that the angle here in radians is expressed as the variable t, so t here represents the angle here of this particular triangle that's made by uh, picking a particular x or y and or xy combination on the edge of the circle here we can see that if we express x in terms of r cosine theta and y in terms of r sine theta any point on the circle xy can be expressed as r cosine theta and r sine theta to show that there's equivalence here let's say that we replace every x and every y in the equation by its equivalent in terms of the other variable t so we have r cosine t squared plus r sine t squared equals r squared. Notice that if we square each of these in the each what the components in the parentheses, we have r squared cosine squared t plus r squared sine squared t is equal to r squared. We factor out an r squared, and right away we realize that the cosine squared plus the sine squared is equal to 1, and r squared equals r squared. So we see that it's a, a good substitution for x and y. So here we can see by analogy, again, if we read the expression, a parametric equation, and here we have two parametric equations, y equals r sine theta and x equals r cosine theta, those would be the two parametric equations. They are equations that express each of the variables, in this case x and y, which are the two variables, in the original equation that describes the circle. It expresses each of the variable as an equation in terms of another variable. So here these are equations in terms of x, so t is the, or I should say in terms of t, so t is the independent variable, x is the dependent variable, t is the independent variable, y is the dependent variable. Notice that both x and y are expressed in terms of the same independent variable t. That makes these two parametric equations, and they express together, they express the circle with radius r and the center at the origin. And we can see that, yes indeed, there's an equivalence to that. So sometimes it really helps us to write an equation in terms of its parametric equations, be able to solve it, different aspects of that equation, and that's why we do that. So we'll show you a bunch of examples of how we use parametric equations, and then you can start seeing the analogy here with what we just expressed as the basic definition of what a parametric equation is. There's nothing like some good examples to help us understand it better, but at least we have a better idea now by reading this definition. And that's how we do that.